Stephen Trigg was born in 1742 in Bedford County, Virginia, to Abraham and Dosa Johns Trigg. His family was prominent in the Virginia frontier. His father was a judge, and he had many brothers who served in the American Revolution. He married Mary Christian, and they had five children. His grandson, Stephen Trigg, Logan, became Abraham Lincoln's law partner in Illinois. Trigg and his family lived in Budetot County, Virginia, and he represented the county in the Virginia Assembly. In 1775, he represented Fincastle County in the Virginia Assembly when it was formed. He held many offices during his time in Virginia. In 1779, Trigg moved to Kentucky. Kentucky was plagued with the land issues, and Trigg was assigned to the land court. He first arrived in Kentucky at St. Asaph, what would become Sanford, Kentucky. Trigg built a cabin, Trigg Station, near Harrodsburg, but it was seldom used because of his continuous travel. Trigg represented Kentucky County in the Virginia Assembly when it was formed in 1776. He was a trustee of the Transylvania University when the school was first formed. In 1780, he became the colonel of the Lincoln County Militia when the county was formed. In 1782, a group of Shawnee and British forces surrounded Bryan Station and fled east after the failed siege. Trigg and Daniel Boone led many in pursuit. They were led into a trap and the Battle of Blue Licks began. It was a terrible defeat for the Kentuckians, and many died, including Stephen Trigg. He was buried in a mass grave. I hope you've enjoyed learning about Stephen Trigg. He was an early frontiersman of Kentucky and held important offices throughout his life. He, like many other Kentuckians, was tasked with protecting the new settlements. He died doing just that. Trigg County, the 66th county of Kentucky, was named after Stephen Trigg. forget to try out audibletrial.com slash kyhistorypod to get a free book of your choosing. If you'd like to support the channel, check out our Patreon page at patreon.com slash kyhistorypod. Like, subscribe, and hit the notification button for more Kentucky History content. Find us on these social media platforms and check out the Kentucky History Podcast on these podcast platforms for more in-depth history of Kentucky. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.